Well, good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to Coffee and Devotions. This is where every day you and I, we get together, we have a little bit of coffee. Email. <laughs> we get into God's Word and we grow in our love for the Lord together. And this year, 2024, Lord willing, we'll make it through the books of Numbers, Deuteronomy, and Judges. Hebrews. You're silly. All right, let's have some coffee. We'll pray and we'll get into God's Word. Tea. Milk. <laughs> let's pray. Father, we thank you so much for this day. We rejoice in the blessing it is to get to read your word. And we pray that you would teach us and help us this day. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, Numbers chapter 4, beginning at verse 21. Daniel, why don't you read verse 21? And then Deborah, you can read 22 through 26. And Nathan, you can read 27 and 28. It likes honey coming into my fingers. Oh, yeah. Okay, then, Daniel. Then the Lord spoke. To Moses, saying, Also take a census of the sons of Gershon by their father's house, by their families, from 30 years old and above, even to 50 years old. You shall number them, all who enter to perform service, to do the work in the tabernacle meeting. This is the service of the families of the Ger Gershonites in serving and carrying. They shall carry the curtains of the tabernacle and the tabernacle of meeting with its covering, the covering of badger skins that is on it, the screen for the door of the tabernacle of meeting, the screen for the door of the gate of the court, the hangings of the court which are around the tabernacle and altar and their cords with all all the furnishings for their service and all that is made for these things, so they shall serve. So, Aaron and his sons shall assign all the service of the sons of Goshenites, all the tasks and all the service, and you shall point to them all the tasks as their duty. This is the service of the families of the sons of Goshen in the tabernacle of meeting, and their duty shall be under the authority of Ithama. Ithamar. Ithamar. The son of Aaron the priest. Okay. So Levi has three sons, right? So Levi had three sons. Kohath, number one. Gershon, number two. And Merari, number three. So the Kohathites were the ones who carried around all the most holy things. So like all the furniture, right? The altar and the ark and the table and the lampstand, right? All that type but of I stuff. Thought, I thought it was Levi. Well, the, so Levites are in three different groups. So, right, so you have the Levites, but this part of the Levites carries all the holy things. Now, so that was the Kohathites, and they couldn't even look at the ark. They couldn't look at the, the table of showbread. They couldn't look at the altar of incense. If they look at any of those things, what do you think could happen? They could die, right? So now, so, so that's what the Kohathites would do. Now we're talking about another group of the Levites. And what group of Levites are we talking about now? The Gershonites. The Gershonites, right? Because their f father was named Gershon. Gershon. And what type of stuff are they in charge of carrying? The, like, tent and yeah. the skins. Yeah, the, the skins and the curtains, all all the, like, right? If, if you were to have a tent, right? You guys have gone camping with me before. You have the tent pegs. And you have the tent poles, oh, and, and you have like the tent cover, and that's it. And sometimes that's different for different types of tents. And then you have the inside tent, and sometimes there's even three layers of tent. Yeah, but right, so yeah, so it would almost sleeping bag. That's right. So it's almost like you know, Daniel would carry the the tent itself, right, the fabric, and Nathan in his bag he would carry the tent pole. And Deborah and her bag would carry the tent pegs. And Ellen would carry the sleeping bag. And Ellen might carry the sleeping bag. Dad will carry the sleeping right, so, the, so, right, this is God's tabernacle, but it's almost like God's massive tent. Right? And so there it takes a whole bunch of people to carry God's tabernacle. Actually, Dad and Ellen would carry this tent. She would well, carry this tent. Well, it's okay, right? The point is, right? Gershon carries all the fabric and all the, all the skins. 
Right? That's the sons of Gershon's job. Now, who's supposed to make sure they do this job well? The priest. The priest, oh, yeah. that's right. So Ithamar is one of Aaron's sons, and Ithamar is the manager, is a supervisor of the sons of Gershon. Right? Do you want somebody do you want somebody ripping up the the uh, tabernacle curtains? Cutting holes through the badger skins? No, right? So you have a manager to make sure that these things are being taken care of well. You want to be the the one in charge of the badger skins? <laughs> Alright. Well, what do you guys think is the best verse to to underline that would summarize all this? <coughs> What do you guys think? What's the best verse to summarize this? I think 27. 27? Okay. I think all the Levites and priests. All the Levites and priests, okay. So I think I would underline verse 24. This is the service of the families of the Gershonites in serving and carrying. And then I would underline 25 too. They shall carry the curtains of the tabernacle and the tabernacle of meeting with its covering. And then all the other coverings, blah, blah, blah. That's mostly what I And then you'd also underline 27. Nope, just 24 and 25. All right, well, what do you guys think? How does this point us to anything today in our lives? What are we called to do? So God, we each have a purpose in the church. That's right. We have a purpose in the church, right? We serve Him, right? What are some ways that you serve God in the church today? What do you have to wash the tables, take your plate off? Yeah, is that a small job? Yeah, but they can trust you with building. Yeah, right? So you have a job, right? People need you to help wash down tables and, and clean things off. Good. What What's the service that you do every week? Uh, I set up like the audio and video. Yeah, you help set up the audio and video, right? Is that a big service to the Lord? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. What type of things can you help serve with at the church? Uh, <laughs> hey, guys. Can I put you guys up when you Yeah, right. So I picked the seat. You pick the seat every week. That's right. You choose which, which pew you're going to sit in. And a but, seat, most times always picks the seat that people up. Yeah, but it's okay. Right? So Deborah, right, normally what you do is you cut the, the bulletin inserts in half, don't you? Right, and you help stuff them into the bulletins. Right, that's a service, and there's no small service, right? Everybody is important in the church. Everybody's got their part to play. Right, and so your service in the church, does God say, ah, pff, that's not important, I don't care about that. They can trust you with, with bigger things. They yeah. can trust you with more power in the seat. Yeah, someday they may trust you with bigger things, that's right. But the point is, right, does the Lord take notice of these things? Yeah. Yep. And is He glorified as we serve Him? Yep. Yeah. That's right, so whether we eat or drink or whatever we do, even serving in the church, we can do it to the glory yeah. of God. Yes. Um, is there any, like, this story of, of Bible Man? And, and In Bible Man? And, um, and one, somebody picked somebody and they turned down the thing that I was really pretty and then when they put rope down another guy, the guy they they didn't put rope on the guy that tore down the city because then the guy that tore down this that put wept in the thing said and um said why do I not have a rope and the guy said. Because you taught, you you put webs in the city. Mm, okay, so he got he got his reward for his bad actions. 
He didn't get any. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so we each have a part to play in the church, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and pray. Father, we thank you so much that because you have adopted us into your family, you have called us to be priests, a nation of priests, a holy priesthood. Lord, we pray that you would please, as you have given us a place to play, whether it's an encourager or whether uh, it's a worker or whether it's somebody carrying things or cleaning things, Lord, we pray that we would do all to your glory. Help us, Lord, to do it with a cheerful heart. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, may God bless you. May you walk in the joy and peace of Jesus Christ, and we'll see you next time. You guys want to say bye? Bye. Bye. Thanks for listening to this week's message from God's Word for You, a ministry of Sharon RP Church in rural southeast Iowa. We pray that the message would be used by God to transform your faith in your life this week. If you'd like to get more information about us, feel free to go to the website, SharonRPC.org. We'd love to invite you to worship with us. Our worship time is 10 a.m. every Sunday at 25204 160th Avenue, Morning Sun, Iowa, 52640. May God richly bless you this week.